watch this now i'll show you one step that restores any video and upscales it at the same time so when i first started testing flash vsr inside comf ui i loaded a simple clip of a woman in armor and i just pressed run and at first everything looked fine but when i looked closer i saw the edge of the armor had split into two there was like a ghost reflection as if the model could not decide which edge was real and that was the moment i knew something deeper was wrong so i started searching and what i found was actually very interesting so when i checked the official flash vsr website i saw three sample videos one was normal one was without lcsa and one was with lcsa now lcsa stands for locality constraint special attention and that's what keeps motion clean but here is the problem most third party builds including comfy ui don't have lcsa instead they use sdpa or search attention but not lcsa in the official example you can clearly see the difference the video without lcsa has a ghost reflection especially around the woman's hand and face but when lcsa is enabled the reflection disappears completely so now we know why that problem exists and the same issue appears when the armor edge moves during a turn the model tries to match pixels from one frame to another and ends up mixing them that's where the ghost edge comes from so in this video i'll show you how i fix that problem inside comf ui just one smart step and that stops the ghost reflection completely so when you see the final video it's in full 4k and there is no ghost reflection at all everything looks clean and stable when i loaded the video and saw that problem i kept wondering why the official flash vsr results looked perfect but mine didn't so i started testing everything different sizes attention modes and frame counts whenever i used a resolution like 1536 by 2688 which is higher than 1024 in either direction the problem appeared the armor edge would completely split so i figured out that when the resolution goes beyond the supported size of the model it starts to generate ghost reflections and how did i fix that it's quite simple i added a math node and divided the resolution by 2 now the same resolution which i used earlier 1536 by 2688 which becomes 768 by 1344 that single step fixed everything after that i decided to rebuild the whole workflow cleanly first i created a process that enhances the half size version of the video and then restores it back to the full size now i'll show you how the workflow looks step by step so before you start Let's talk about the files you need to download. So there are three model files required for this workflow. First one is Win 2.1 T2V 13V Flash VSR FP 32. Second one is Win 2.1 Flash VSR LQ Project Mo Model PF 16. Save two of them inside your Comf UI's Models Diffusion Model folder. And the third one is Win 2.1 Flash VSR TC Decoder FP32. This one 
on Comfy UI's models VA folder. Once you download and place them, restart Comfy UI so you, it can read all three correctly. Now let's go through the workflow. I load my video using the video loader node. The clip is 1536 by 2688 at 30 FPS and it has 92 frames. Then I use a video information node. This reads the video's resolution, length and frame count. Next, I connect two math nodes to divide the width and height by two. After that, the res new resolution becomes 768 by 1344. This step keeps the size perfect for flash VSR. Then I connect this to the image resize version 2 node. Here I keep the proportion. You can select either pad or crow. In this case, I choose pad and use Lancos as the resize method for high quality scaling. Now I add the when video at flash VSR input node. This is where you link the model with your video frames. For the strength, I keep it around 1 to 1.3. This range helps hold detail without creating host lines. And if your video has a lot of motion, this setting might not be enough. You will need LCSA to fix that. Then I connect it to the when video sampler node. After this group, I add another upscaler. Seed VR2. This brings the resolution back to the original full size. So the process is simple. First, reduce the size by 2, enhance it with flash VSR, then upscale it back to full size using Seed VR2. That's it. The final result is stable and fast, even on a smaller GPU. Now, let's test this on a full HD video. The resolution will be 1080 by 1920. This time, I bypass the math node by changing the value from 2 to 1. So, the resolution is not divided. I disable Seed VR2 first and test with my only flesh VSR. The clip is long, around 176 frames, so I run it once to check if any ghost reflections appear. And yes, the ghost reflection still appears slightly. That means the video needs to be divided by 2 again. Because the strength is 1 and we can't go lower than that. So here I change the divide value from 1 to 2 and run it again. Now the ghost reflection is gone as you can see here. The only thing I notice is some black padding on the side because I used a pad. So I changed the resize option from pad to crop and run again. Now you can see the black border is gone. The video looks clean and sharper with no reflection. Finally, we get the result. You can already see there is an improvement in color. Look closely, the tone is richer, the brightness more balanced and the whole image looks cleaner. If you pause and look carefully, the difference is clear. The skin textures look smoother and even the rabbit in the girl's hand now has visible fur details that were not there before. So there is a clear enhancement in both color and texture. Now we'll check how the upscaler did the work. The Seed VR2 node is processing frame by frame enhancing each image individually. It takes a little bit of time because it's restoring the high resolution detail properly, not just stretching the frame. 
And finally, when it's done, we can see the result side by side. You can compare the old video with the new one. After the 4K upscale, the difference in details and color is massive. Without using Flash VSR, if you try to upscale with only Seed VR2, you will never get this type of output. It will increase the resolution but won't rebuild the missing texture or the motion consistency. Flesh VSR, on the other hand, enhances every fine detail, the edges, the textures, the color balance, before the upscale step. So yes, this update completely solved the problem. The ghost reflection is gone and the video now looks naturally sharp. Now I test another video, a close-up of a woman's face and this video has 161 frames and a resolution of 448 by 704. Since the resolution is already small, I don't divide it. I keep the math node value at 1 and for this test, I set the flash VSR input strength to 1.3. The goal is to add a little more detail without any ghosting. And when I generate, the face looks clearer. The skin texture and makeup tones look realistic. And if I increase the strength to 1.5, it adds more detail but also risks a faint reflection in some frames. So the best balance is around 1 to 1.3 depending on motion so now i'm going to test one more example and for this test i have uploaded another video this one is 1920 by 1080 in resolution and the motion in the clip is not too much so this time i divide the resolution by 2 again and set the strength to 1.5 so when I run it, the result actually looks good. You can see the difference immediately. The colors look richer, the texture is smooth and there is no ghost reflection anywhere. The edges of the armor are clean, the shadows blend well and the overall motion looks stable. I send this output to Seed VR2 to upscale it to 4K at 24 FPS. And as you can see, after the upscale, the result looks incredible. The lighting on the armor, the hair movement, and even the rain in the background all look perfectly natural. Everything is stable, there is no flicker, no double edges, and no blur between frames. And for my next test, I try a different kind of video. Here, the women talking on the phone while eating popcorn. In the background, you can see someone walking in like a horror scene. Here, the resolution is 768 by 1344 at 30 FPS. Because this resolution fits the model range, I keep the divide value at 1 again. I set the flesh VSR strength to 1, then hit run. When I check the result, it looks really good. You can clearly see the difference between the original and the enhanced version. The second one has stronger contrast, sharper edges and more clarity in the eyes and skin. The background colors also look richer without losing the cinematic feel. Now I send this result to Seed VR2 Upscaler and set the upscale to 1440p then 4K. The final output looks amazing. The lighting on our face is smooth, the background color figure stays clear and the overall video looks like a high quality cinematic shot. So that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful or learned something new, 
about fixing ghost reflections inside Comfy UI? Please make sure to like the video and subscribe for more detailed tutorials like this. Thank you. Bye-bye.